Okay, I'm coming. Here we go. Okay, yet another in the series of uh, Note to Self. Um, going through the uh, stock market book still. Yeah, still more to go. Uh, these uh, got two more sections. Both of these uh, I think are, are more interesting. The last ones uh, were kind of sparse. This is a little more interesting section. So I've got transportation and I've got communication. So we'll start the transportation. That had six pages. Um, so we still move from point A to point B. Um, yesterday, today, tomorrow, ever changing, yet always the same. I mean, you can go back and look at Roman roads. They were still moving things around. So that's going to continue on. And how it's done, some things change, some things don't. It'd be interesting to see on that. So what I was seeing going through here uh, were some concept photos. Uh, so kind of some abstract things, which tend to be more just, you know, blurry. You kind of blurry a speedy thing up. Um, then the abstract, same thing. Concept, abstract photos were kind of along that way. Uh, they were starting to do the, the uh, collage photo builds, the multi-pictures built up in Photoshop. And I think they're doing pretty strong things with that today on it. Uh, this is kind of the early days of it happening. Um, you have uh, seeing cars, highways, uh, kids in cars, traffic jams, people looking at maps. Uh, figure out where they're going to go. Um, so a lot of that, you know, people sitting in traffic jams, had it back then, still doing it now. Uh, the only thing that's really changed is the style of cars. Uh, so that just kind of continues on, and people still need photos of that. But they need newer cars in it. Um, you have air travel. You have uh, planes lined up on the tarmac. Um, you got planes taking off. You got planes landing. Uh, you got people in air traffic control. You got uh, uh, people in the air terminal trying to get through the terminal. Um, really, <clears throat> that just kind of continues on. That's kind of the the same then as it is now. Uh, it's only that the airport has changed. Uh, the carpets changed in the airport. Uh, air traffic controllers may be looking at different kind of screens now. Uh, so a lot of similarity there of, of what you're going to be looking at. Uh, same thing starts in with with uh, with the rail. Uh, they were showing some vintage trains uh, that goes on. You still have some interesting line. You know, you got trains on tracks at sunrise with the long line of trains going along. Um, that part uh, really similar that you had back then. Uh, you've got the same thing going on now. Um, trucking. Literally, the photographs of the trucks, semis, kind of thing, hauling things, and having looked at some things that are currently, really are about the same. <laughs> they haven't changed at all. The only thing that's changed is, is you've got a different style of truck now. But the, the same type of image is still be, you know, it's still doing very much the same thing. It seems like, like that's kind of a, a, a visual uh, time warp that just, you know, it's been locked in. That's how you photograph a big semi, and that's how you do a Freightliner or a Mack truck, and that's how we, how we still do it 20, 30 years later. That's how we photograph it. Uh, so it's kind of interesting to see that. Um, and it's mostly where they're just showing a semi. They're not showing where these people go, where they stop. Uh, really it, much about it is just, you know, this is a truck on a road. Big semi going down the road is all they're doing. Um, they had some, the beautiful scenic roads. The idea that, you know, you're going along the California coast. Uh, uh, they had uh, tracks out through the desert. Um, so scenic idealistic highway to go down uh, is still then and still now. Uh, car repair, so a car breaking down someplace or, or um, need emergency repair uh, or trying to figure out how to, how to get your toe 
that happens then, still happens now. Um, they had a little bit of off-roading, uh, so where it'd be, you know, there's all kind of different types of off-roads. There's around here we do a lot more driving logging roads, you know, to get to, to places to go hike or to go see things. Other places, uh, it's a train where, where you can really go off-roading um, and take advantage of, of the vehicles for doing that. Um, so that still going on. Uh, there's need current pictures of that. Uh, still going to have a market audience. Uh, the, the culture hasn't changed. People still have a call, uh, car culture, even though you can look at, okay, now how has it changed? There is some things that are going to change because we see more electronic electric cars, hybrid cars. Um, so there's going to be an interesting to, to capture that idea of, of the changing market um, and the changing lifestyles. I think we'll be coming up more. Uh, you have to look for opportunities that way. A um, couple of them that were interesting to me that were things from a different time, and, but back from my time. So they had a, a, a Concorde uh, taking off. And obviously those don't fly anymore. So it was kind of an antique shop. And then also seeing a... a, a three Hueys in formation. And that just evokes for my generation a whole, a whole other view of the world, uh, which younger people probably would, wouldn't have the concept of that because we were so bombarded that with the Vietnam War. It would be perhaps looking for that notion or image today uh, that becomes more the iconic view of the, of the current uh, air flight technology. and how it may be changing or not changing on it. So that's, uh, that's in there with uh, transportation. Um, the next one, which I'll try to go through quickly because it is actually a big section. And, uh, but because what's in the book is pretty obsolete, but the idea is there. Uh, so the next section is communication. Now the communication uh, back then, it was like how we talk to each other, um, talking to the world. Uh, will we speak better tomorrow? Um, it actually represented their high tech section back then. The the whole gamut of what we're dealing with now in high tech, how how it's moved on, uh, still wasn't happening then. And so they were they were looking to the future in communication. So the lots of symbolism, um, lots of devices of text. A lot of, of the early Photoshop work, trying to look ooh ah, kind of cool, um, going on. Uh, he had a lot of futuristic abstracts and concepts. And I think all that's pretty well moved out of communication and has moved into just uh, general technology and looking at that. Um, the symbols for this time were tended to be a lot more with, um, with fiber optics, uh, CDs. Uh, mouse, pagers, phone cords, uh, keyboards, computers. You have to look at what, what's the symbol, what, what, are the, what are the devices used today on that. Um, there are just a few sat phones and a few satellites, and that was like going to be the great thing. Sat phones were just going to take over everything, and that never got down to cost enough, and then cell towers came in and just you know, kind of took care of that market. Um, so people calling tech support and you got a lot of people with, with headsets smiling at you like, oh, call up your friendly tech support or call up your friendly customer service. And everybody's smiling and happy about it. But, um, and so have people on handsets. Uh, I think all that, there may be a whole other image of, of tech support not being such a friendly place to call or customer service, all the frustrations and problems with customer service. Um, not represented <laughs> in this at all with that. Uh, so there was, a, was one photo that was kind of a throwback under communication, uh, which was a, a book and a pair of reading glasses on it. I thought that was kind of cute. Um, a lot of bad Photoshop work going on in this thing. Uh, I guess I got another thing here. Um, 
so a lot of people, everything talking on the phone, talking on the phone. Um, that's all change. I mean, a lot more messaging. You have to look at the current stuff. So again, this is perhaps one of the really obsolete chapters, but you could use this as a contrast saying, okay, what, what are our symbols today? Um, how do people communicate today? Uh, how's all this change? And there's a, this case, technology has definitely moved on and changed. Uh, still have people calling for help, making emergency calls. Um, people be worried, stressed out on that. Uh, many photos had people. So it's still going to be people interacting with technology, uh, interacting with communication, um, maintaining the human element within a photo of also representing communication or technology. I think just showing a circuit board these days isn't going to carry very far except within the industry that, that it's in and they recognize the circuit board or the, the chip profile. So um, that, that part is kind of a lesson to learn of, of how that changes and also how much the technology or communication is happening out in the world all the time. I know one of the stock agencies just called for uh, getting people using their cell phones, taking pictures of all kind of different things. Uh, and how that, uh, how they want uh, photos of how that phone is just being held up, doing everything now, every place you go. So those are a couple more chapters, um, lessons hopefully to be learned or inspiration to draw from it. Um, I'm still working on it. So hope you found it interesting and useful, and thank you for watching.